links. Let's go to all four locating walls.rbp file. In this clip, we are going to continue working using walls and begin to lay out a two-bedroom condominium unit. So we're going to add more, more internal walls overall apartment boundary here. So I'm just going to quickly start by going to the wall, wall architecture. And inside here, I'm going to choose a 100 mm brick wall. All right, basic wall here. And make sure it is going up from the constraint of first story to up to the second story here. Okay, I'm gonna just, uh, the technique to drawing using Revit is, we are not gonna be too concerned about its uh, initial dimensional precision first for now. And uh, we will later use another technique to get it right. So what's gonna happen is, I'm just gonna simply just draw in roughly the layout of this two bedroom apartment. So this will form the, one of the key bedroom and uh, I'll just add another boundary somewhere here will do. Notice I'm not even measuring so I'm just roughing it in in this case. Huh? Uh, perhaps a little a little compartment for the wardrobe and uh, more room subdivision partitions here and perhaps just one more wall here for the bathroom. And uh, that pretty much is our rough layout at the moment. Now, after we have already rubbed in the, the wall, we're going to use the temporary dimensions technique to clean up and make it accurate, uh, make the layout accurate here. Okay, so what can happen is we can start by selecting a wall here. And you notice that the moment you click on this wall, these, what we call the temporary dimensions, will now begin to appear down here. And notice we can click on the reference nodes here. We can click on the nodes here to move or to toggle the witness line. Let me get closer here. Notice when I click on the witness line nodes, it shifts from the right facing of the wall the right face of the wall to the center of the wall to the left face of the wall. So with this, we can use this technique here to draw quite accurately. For example, once we have shifted this to the internal wall face, I'm going to click on here to change it to the internal wall face as well. And then I can key in the dimension 3000, for example. So that will allow us to edit and adjust the locations of the wall very precisely. Let me just show you one more time. Clicking on here, okay, it is important to note that we must first select the walls that we want to shift before we make the necessary changes to the witness line. Okay, so I'm going to click on inside. I'm going to toggle it so that it switches to the internal face. And I'm going to click on it again, the witness line, and it will change to the internal wall face. And down here, I'll key in, say, 3,500 mm. Now, a little bit of concept here. So if you notice that by default, most of the, most of the walls that we select at random, the witness line will appear in the middle here at the middle or the center of the wall. We can, depending on our preference, make changes to how we want to see or use the temporary dimension. We can do so by going to manage, going to additional settings and look for temporary dimensions. Let me show you again one more time. We can go to manage here and click on the Manage tab. And then we click on Additional Settings here. And we look for Temporary Dimensions here. And once we click on this, the dialog box will appear 
and down at this point here, we will be able to change the default settings from center lines to say faces of the wall. And then with this, we click OK. Then I'm going to zoom in and show you the example. Notice now when I click on this target wall, the temporary dimensions here all appear as if it is looking at the wall faces here. Notice all the temporary dimensions here are now aligned to the internal wall faces. That will greatly help us in terms of efficiency in identifying and using. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up this this layout first. So I'm just going to click this. This is three meters, and I'm going to click this. This is three point five. And this wall here, I will just revert this back to the default settings for now. And I'm going to click on the internal wall face. Now, notice also, when I click on this wall that I wanted to change the location, but then it keeps locking me to this particular reference point only when I actually wanted to refer to this area here, this particular wall face distance, so that I can establish the internal room spacing. So I can click on this and move down. I can notice I'm clicking and dragging it down this way. But then it is actually now targeting the core center line of the wall on the exterior, which is what I don't want. So what I can do now is I can press on the tab button here. All right. I can use the, I can click on it again to change the witness line distance to the face that I want. And then similarly, I can click on here again to get to the wall face interior. And then from here, I can change the dimension to 3.5 this way. And I'm going to change this distance also. I'm just going to drag this one to this point here and click on tap to change the wall faces. So I can tap and then before I let go so that I can change this one to 4000. And then I'm going to change this wall here as well. So I'm going to click on the witness lines, witness lines, and then I'm going to change the dimension to 750 this way. And so internally here, I'm going to change the internal wall face, the witness line to internal wall face. I'm going to change this one. The witness lines to internal wall face as well, and then I'm going to change this to 1600, and I'm going to click on this one as well here, and I'm going to change the witness line location again. Before I change, I'm going to change this one as well. Before I change them to 1600 here, and then from here. I will work on this last bit here by changing the wall face interiors again. And this one, I will change it to 1600 also. All right. And then the last change I'm going to make here, I'm just a little bit of uh, changes here. I'm just going to just shift this one out a little bit more. And I'm going to change this one by dragging the witness line to this location and clicking on the witness line interior face and changing this to 4 meters, 4,000 and shifting this line here, this wall line to, to the wall face interior 
and I'm going to change this one to 750. And then from here, we are done.